Whammo, Frisbees, Eagle, T-shirts, Innova Champion Discs, Lenexa Communications, Uptime Nutritional Supplement, and Software City present 1988 U.S. Open Fall Tournament. And welcome to Kansas City's Swole Park Golf Course, the Midwest's and America's finest Frisbee golf course. Today, this fifth day of June, we'll see the final competitors competing for over $3,000 cash. Many preparations in today's event taking place all over the park here. Tents and, of course, the Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation Department taking a great deal of pride in this year's event. I'd like to introduce my compatriot, Crazy John Brooks, who is the touring coast course pro here at Swill Park. Many of the local media sources, including KCTV Channel 5 of Kansas City, Missouri, covering this year's event. And now we join our competitors on the course for the rules and regulations meeting. Many players from all over the country here, including Sam Ferens, Snapper Pearson, and other greats. And now we'll meet our course pro and director, Tom Engel. Frisbee golf has become more famous over the years thanks to a few courses such as Swole Park Golf Course. They're great. They're really all of this is going on at Swole Park, folks. I hope you can get out here this weekend because the play goes on through Sunday. Sunday are the finals and to add to the festivities, they even have some music, a little concert out here before they start playing. So if you've never seen Fall, this is your chance. It's fantastic. Brandsmart Stereo has done an incredible job. Tom Ingle is here. This is the ultimate. Fall. The U.S. Open Fall Tournament, right here in River City. And our finalists lined up here, course director Tom Engel with the scoreboard. These are your finalists in the Brandsmart U.S. Open Fall Tournament. Now we join our players at the first team, Otto Spires contemplating his two-stroke lead over the four finalists at the pool. And here's the drive of the first hole. Now we're going to ABR, this 378 3 and just a little bit short of left of the pin. Up next, tied for second place at eight under, Greg Husfeld, the 1987 Disc Golf World Champion. Greg has moved over quite a bit of the field here to make the finals. Yes, I believe he only shot par the first round and then put together back-to-back -to -back four under par round. And there's the shot. Starting a little bit high. And I'm sure he's looking for... Oh, and a nice kick there, pushing over to the low side of the hill there, almost directly next to Otto Spires. That's not out of his range, is it, Craig? No, not at all. His putting style is most original, too, as you'll see. And here is the 1986 Japan Cup Disc Golf Champion, America's own Sam Ferens. Who, incidentally, won the World Championship at the age of 16. That's right. Showing up for the tournament and joining the organization that same weekend. And here's the drive here, starting out low and direct. It's coming right He's to right the pin it. there. He's right on it. Oh! Oh, an incredible effort by Sam Ferens in the first hole of the finals here. And he's, without a doubt, got his engine started for this final round. course is really playing beautiful today. The weather has been quite cooperative over the weekend. And there's Kansas City's own John Heaton throwing a short, short Looks shot like he on us. He has caught just a little bit of the tree there, short and left of the pin. Here's John Heaton's approach shot. He's, He's got about, about 40 vertical feet below the pin as well as out. Probably 100 feet in distance. Up and over. Oh, and a good effort. Greg not hesitating a moment at all here as he takes a two, a birdie two on hole one. And Sam Ferentz putting out with another birdie. Very strong beginning. Oh! Otto is going to remember that putt for a while. Let's move on to hole, got the worst of hole one. Hole two now featuring Greg Hosfeld after that birdie on the first hole. 
At 295 feet, this is one of the more vertible holes here at Swift. Sam Ferns taking a more direct route, just a little bit short, it looks like. He's driving a little tight. We'll see more of his style here on the longer holes on the course today. Here's Otto Spires contemplating his drive in the second hole. Ooh, and it's flipped a little early. That's the backhand technique used by more golfers. That's a good shot, just short of pull high at John Heaton. There's a nice that direct shot. Good. Nice right. shot. Made it just a bit left on him there, Chris. Mm. Yes, yeah. Greg Hosfeld with that incredible putting style. Can't let him know the basket. Sam Ferns wanted to drill this one to hold his position. It's direct. Oh, just a little high there. Sam, of course, a favorite here with the folks of Kansas City. It's Otto Spires. Oh, and he drills it for a birdie on hole two. John Heaton now sizing up his shot. Oh, gosh, I know he's he's thinking about that. Greg Hosfeld teeing off on hole number three, one of the longer holes in the course, 380 feet. Finishes of course, up hill. It's, very tough. it's quite a traversing hole. Up at the top of the pin here. As you notice the gap in the center of the trees there, it's pretty hard to, oh boy, that's close. Pretty hard to hit in there. A number of trees there that can stop your shot. Sam Ferns, one of the better distance throwers in the world now preparing for this hole. Just a great gallery here. Absolutely. Sam, take a here's good look the shot. At this one. Ooh, it's a roller. It's going to flip a little early. It's pretty good. Oh, boy. It's, that was close. And most of the time that he's uh, contemplating this type of shot, you know that he's got a certain amount of risk. There are quite a few trees in the back part of the fairway. John Heaton taking a more direct and lower route here. Looking for an opening. Oh, he got a nice kick there, pushing him up to the center of the fairway. Greg Hosfeld, farthest away from the basket, will shoot second. And a great approach shot, about six feet from the pin. About 165, 170 feet John Heaton. Another turnover shot, AVR disc. And right there for a beautiful up shot. Well, you know why these guys made the final. They've obviously covered a lot of ground with very few strokes. Oh, Otto Spires has thrown a very short up shot here. This is going to put him in trouble for that putt. Maybe 35 feet out, would you say, Chris? At least 30 to 35 feet out. Sam Ferris for a direct route right at the pin there. That's a nice shot, not even uh, utilizing that hill and behind the hole. Here's Otto Spires from about 60 feet out now. Quite a way. Pushing for par. Good height, good height. Oh, and he drills it from 60 feet. Otto Spires holding on to his par for the 380 foot par three. Sam Ferens coming back with a par three. And here's John Heaton to pick up this drop in putt from about eight feet. Otto Spires will now uh, move on. And here's Greg Hosfeld to hold out on hole three. And our finalists will move on to hole four. A challenge at over 400 feet, a very low ceiling under this hole. Oh, he started out too high. Yeah, he's, I think he's turned it over a bit. He's up in the tree, a kickoff. Oh, oh and he's, uh, he's about 210 feet short of the pin still. It's the wind and the weather, sunshine being so cooperative this weekend. The players have gotten a great view of Kansas City's fine weather and of course our golf course, our very own Swope Park, America's finest Frisbee golf course. Otto Spires really conscious of his Kansas City crowd watching every move he makes and here's his drive. He's got good power, good power, but I'm afraid it's flipped over a little too early. He tried to yank it a bit too hard, Craig. He's uh, a little bit anxious, I'd say. Sam Ferns, of course, really needing a birdie on this hole to stay with the pack now, but I'm sure he's got something up his short sleeve. Sam knows he has a distance to get down there, but it's a very tight gap. Better. 
looking for a miracle, and he's a little bit left. Kaiser did just a bit too much. There's some rough in there that uh, can't play difficultly. John Heaton now, of course, winning the Kansas City Fall Challenge last weekend. There's a good lift. There's a very nice lift right down the center of the fairway and staying a little bit left. Well, he's got a space to make an up shot. Otto now needing this very badly. Oh, he took a nick off the tree. Oh, gosh, a miracle shot here on hole four. Otto Spires in good shape to keep par. Guess the trees like the locals. Greg Hosfeld, interesting sidearm approach. He's a oh. little far down the hill there. Caught just a bit of facial wind, and that was all. Oh, oh. gosh. Eaton just missing from about 80 feet out. What a great effort. Sammy, and he'll play he safe there. Up for the easy three. What a beauty. That's a wise move there. There's a good drop off that Hosfeld just went down right behind that. Most of the players realizing this, too. There's that putting style. Oh, and he's short. He'll take a bogey on this 400-foot par three. Otto Spires, a very direct route, running out to hold par. And let's move on to hole five. 290 feet, just short of 100 yards. It's the shortest hole here at Swell Park. Good hyzer on this shot. He's coming direct route. Oh, gosh, he's just hit Good right run. next to the pin. He checks up about 25 feet past the pin. Hole five has been aced here at Swell Park. There's Sam's drive. A little bit wide to start out, but it'll hook in. Those stable discs by Innova Champion really utilizing their power to hold tight to the pin. That was a good shot. I think he slightly underestimated the amount of uphill and left it just about 35 feet short of the pin. Noticing the fairway here, the constant slant here provides for a different idea from each player, most of them using the hyzer route. Here's John Heaton, just about three feet behind Sam Ferrets. And now Greg Hoswell contemplating this. So Good shot by Greg can put him in a very solid position. You like to make up for that bogey it's up. Oh, he's flipped a little bit early. He's going to be high and on the he's crowd side of the well. tree there. He's within 30 feet of the pin, I'd say. Approaching hole number five are open finalists. I recognize that guy from somewhere, but I'm not sure. Here's Sam an ugly Ferentz, guy. putting for birdie. Oh, and he drills it. He drills it from 28 feet. Sam looks like he wants this one. He's a great golfer. And he's been at the top levels of competition for several years now and knows what it takes to win. The flags on the pins here at Swope Park Golf Course play such a great role here for most of the golfers on the course. Utilizing the wind is most important. The flags aid our players in many different ways. Here's John Heaton. He's got, oh, he's just a little bit short. Oh, gosh, that hurts John. Of course, he's there for a par. He'll hold. And that's a scary putt, too, Craze. That drop off to the street is quick. Of course, uh, if you land in the street, that's a stroke. Greg Husfeld, and he drills it from 22 feet. Greg Husfeld. Boy, he's got some intestinal fortitude to putt that hard downhill with that street there. He was looking straight at it. Otto now putting uphill for about 25 feet. He'd sure like to get a bird here. Let's see if we can't get a close-up on Otto's face on this shot. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was a tight putt there. Good line, but not enough direct to direction to hold the disc in the pin there. And our players will hold at even. Heaton and Spires, Hosfeld and Ferenc burning. Now we're moving on to hole six, 329 feet. And let's see, we're getting a reading now, another 100, 110 to 120 feet from the center of the fairway. So that makes this hole a total of almost 450 feet long. At this point, Otto is still in the lead at 11 strokes under par. Hosfeld and Ferens at 10 under, and John Eaton still at 8 under. Hasn't Notice been able to buy a birdie on the front. The technique on this sixth hole here, of course, a par three. Many of the players are going the direct route through the trees here. There is a mandatory left of the front tree. Well, he does take the direct route at that. Here's a nice shot. Feathering out towards the hill. He finishes up about 60 feet shy of the pin. 
Great technique displayed here by Brett Hosfeld, the 87 Disc Golf World Champion. Otto Spire is a favorite here in Kansas City, doing what he does best, which is spend a majority of his time here at this fall course. Another direct route. Looks like he's trying to flip just a little bit too early, and it's oh, not. Oh, he put it down for a roller, John. That's not going to present much of a problem to him, that's he's for sure. He's practically pin high on He does have track. about a 75-foot putt for birdie on hole six. John Heaton. Great power displayed here all weekend by John. Feathering out to the right. He will make the hill on this hole. Sam Ferens with an interesting placement on his second shot. He's got about a 200 foot up shot for birdie. Hoping to put this one in the pin. This will really hold him tight here. He's got the distance and it's just a little bit wide. About 12 feet and he'll be looking at a par. Looks like Sammy wasn't too happy with that effort. John Heaton at 8 under, followed by Sam Ferens, Greg Hosfeld at 10 under, and our leader, Otto Spires, at 11 under. Now parting, putting for birdie on the hillside here on hole 6. He's got about a 100-foot putt. He takes the high route. Oh, gosh, just a bare miss there. Interesting technique, battling the wind here. Greg Hosfeld going around with the sidearm. Hospital's quite a freestyle, and he's got every shot in the book at his disposal. Let's get some interesting shots, that's for sure. Oh, and there's another good effort hitting the top of the pin, but he'll be safe for par. John Heaton. No problem there. Tournament play, though, every putt is a potential. That's right. Most of the holes here at Soul Park Golf Course are, of course, regulation and providing double chains, meaning two sets of chains and two retainer rings. The choice of most players, this type of equipment is used in the World Championships and in more national tournaments than any other equipment in the country. Here's Sam Ferenc teeing off on hole number seven, 329 feet to the pin. Our gallery here, very cooperative, but we do have a few hundred people here witnessing America's finest frisbee golf course in the finals. Here's a nice shot feathering in towards the pin. He's going to be about 15 feet in that pin. Over 100 yards, and that accurate is quite an accomplishment. That's a beautiful shot there. If you get turned over a bit too soon, you're in the trees. Yeah, it's a bit quite a late, bit and you can there. be in the street. Uh, there's a stroke penalty waiting for you down there, by the way. Greg Hosfeld probably wondering how he made it to the finals after his trek from Omaha. Another comedy gig that he's been on quite a road trip this year. He's teed a little high. He's going to be in the trees looking for a miracle kick down towards the pin, but it doesn't look good for birdie on this hole for Greg. Otto Spires just bathing in this lead over America's finest players. His home course is witnessing one of his better games. Another low shot. It's flipped a little early, but there's a stable disc homing for you. End of a champion really coming up with some great beautiful. ideas. There's a beautiful shot by Otto Spires on the seventh hole here in the finals of the Brand Smart about 25 feet below the pin. U.S. Open golf tournament. John Heaton, his wife Jenny in the audience here, anxious to see her hubby play well. There's a great shot. He's going to clip a little bit of wood. A little bit of short there on a downhill putt of about 45 feet. Here's Greg Husfeld for birdie two. And that's going to be a tough shot to come back for par for Greg. Here's John Heaton. Making nonsense of the distraction there on Swope Parkway. John playing a great game now. This would be a very nice finish on this hole for him. Oh, 
just off to the left. He cannot buy a birdie on the front nine. Otto Spires. The second shot. 330 foot par three. Oh, and he drills a birdie on hole seven. There's Sam. Sam Ferentz taking a birdie also. And there's Greg coming back for a par here. Great finish by these gentlemen on the seventh hole. Let's move on to a most interesting and challenging hole, the eighth hole here at Swope Park. The hillside providing for many shots to roll to the pin, but otherwise, 451 feet like Sammy of sheer down power. Roller. It's flipped. Oh, and he caught a tree earlier there on the peak of the hillside. This hole is most challenging throughout the weekend. Second three. Otto Spires battling it out with Sam Ferens, Greg Hosfeld, and John Heaton. Hole number eight now, 451 feet. Otto moved to 12 strokes under par with that birdie on seven. He's really coming on strong. Front nine is generally considered to be tougher than the back nine. Here oh, he's put it too high. He's put it too high and is in the trees. He's going to catch just a little bit of a roll here and remain on the top of the hillside. That's going to be a tough break for Otto to come back for a par. Long up shots here required on this 150-yard par three. Greg Hosfeld also choosing a rolling route. He set it down well. Go, go, go. Just a little bit, a little bit more. Oh, and that's a good shot. That's a good shot, leaving him with about 150 feet. And a wide open approach angle, and there aren't many. Most of the limbs here are lower than normal. There is an air route. And Heaton choosing the roller route too. Oh, a yeah, lot of timber on that shot. Hard. He's going to be about 320 feet short. That's a tough break, and here's his upshot. What an interesting path these players need to. It's like he selected a track. rock there, Craig. Perhaps is, a hammer. That is, that is a rock. Oh, just barely missed that tree. He's still going to have about a 45-footer. He was probably was still 100 yards from the pin, wouldn't you say? Close to it. Otto Spires now. Still a little bit left here. A little bit of tightness there in Otto's stroke. There's Sam Ferentz. Nice run. Doing a direct route to the pin. Oh, Whoa. he's going to be... Tough comeback behind that tree, but believe me, he's talented. 100 to feet out, Greg Hosfeld. Greg Hosfeld. Oh! oh. Dead a miracle up upshot by Greg. That's an. Oh, John Heaton nice pulls save. in a par. Otto Spires Otto is going to take the stroke. He got on seven. He's going he's gonna to have to pull through here. Sam Ferentz missing all of the pin on hole number eight. He'll bogey. Greg Hosfeld. Here we are on hole number nine. 442 feet, ladies and gentlemen. Challenging hole. There it is in the center of the fairway. Good placement. He'll be shooting up from about 200 feet. That's a very nice place to be. Of course, Brandsmart here in Kansas City providing us with this year's tournament. And many of the festivities are enjoyed by many all weekend long. John Heaton now with a clean shot. That's a rock made he's by end of a champion. He's a smart golfer. He is, certainly. He plays here a lot, too, regularly. Sam Ferens approaching the tee on hole number nine. Great distance exhibition by him all week long. Snap that one beautifully. He stayed the low route, won't play any limbs at all, and that's good placement. He'll be shooting up from about 175 feet. That's smart golf here, Craze, because you're not likely to actually get a birdie on a hole this long, so it's best to play for position for that second shot. That's correct, and let your competitors shoot first. Otto Spires really wanted to give the crowd a show here in the finals. Oh, and it's flipped a little early. That's going to catch some trees, mm -hmm. and he's got a probably a wide open shot, but a little bit short. He's got about 210 foot up shot now for birdie two. We'd also like to thank Anheuser-Busch for their participation in this year's event. Bud Light, of course, the light beer of champions. Oh, and that was a very a close shot. Run. What an exciting final this is. Osfeld, he's dangerous from anywhere. Greg pulling in. Oh! 
Oh, incredible accuracy displayed here this weekend. Absolutely. John Heaton now shooting in the finals. Oh, can you believe the accuracy of these players? Those are Fall three at of its the finest. nicest bird runs I've ever seen on hole number nine. Certainly the course is inspiring these gentlemen to play at such high levels of proficiency. And here's Sam Ferris. And he's going to play it safe and take that par and move on. Here's Otto for par. Sam Ferris. Greg Hostel, and here's the drive on hole number 10. Yeah. Oh, 20 feet, and there's the a direct route. Just missing the tree there. He's got about a 28-foot punt uphill for birdie. Got to be happy with that, Craig. He almost cut some serious timber on the right. What a challenging hole. An easy bird or a tough car. Otto. Needing a stroke. Oh, and there's a beautiful right, shot. Right, yeah. Let's hope he can pull a helix in there and stay on the high side of the hill. And he does. He'll be shooting about 30 feet out for birdie two. Here's Sam Ferentz with incredible distance shot around the entire fairway. Coming in now towards the pin. He's a little bit short and will have some difficulty coming uphill. That's a tough shot to judge and totally blind in the highs around. The wind playing a big role here at Swope Park Golf Course this weekend. But our players, once again, displaying incredible distance, accuracy, Spires. Looking down the gut of that small gap. And he's right through it. Nice shot. Turned it over just a bit, but he hit that right down the center of the That's fairway. good placement. Here's Sam Ferns for birdie on old 10. He's got to be a good 60 feet out and uphill. He lays up for the easy par. Otto Spires. Oh, just missing the pin there. He made a good run at it, Craig. Never up, never in. John Heaton takes a birdie, hole number 10. First birdie of the round for him. And here's Greg Hosfeld for a birdie on hole number 10, 320 feet long here at Swill Park Golf Course. And Heaton, Otto, Sam, and Greg move on to hole 11. Swill Park Golf Course. Special thanks to Eagle Products of Kansas City, Missouri, 19th and McGee, that provided us with our tournament shirts and other garments. Featured some of the finest artists in America. Special thanks to our friend Duffy Cardup, also a very, very good golfer here in Kansas City, Missouri. Eagle Products. At this point, Hosfeld is tied with Auto Spires for the lead at 11 strokes. There's a turnaround bar. technique not seen out here on the golf course too often. He caught a little bit of timber. You see the leaves filtering down to the ground there, but still put a great distance shot uphill. Oh, absolutely. This hole 11, 386 feet, is a challenging hole from one hillside to the other towards the clubhouse here at Swill Park. And he must be 320 feet downrange even after hitting that tree. Oh, look at that power. Look at that nice power. Shot. Shelfing shot now going right towards the pin here. Oh, that's a beautiful Oh, and a beautiful shot here on the 11th hole. He's got to be within 40 feet of the pin. He's going to be going uphill, a slight grade at about 32 feet. Sam Ferris. During practice, I saw Sammy go past the pin on this hole. He's staying low and straight here, shortest distance between two points, and he's turned over just a slight bit and will be putting from about 65 feet. Hard right to, get, to left. Hard to get anything to hold when you have that much snap. You see our gallery up there assembled at the top of the hill. They are really getting quite a display of talent here at the fall course. Rumor has it that the rock was designed for Sam Ferris. Certainly wouldn't doubt that. There's Otto Spires. Teeing a little bit to the right there and uphill. You see the dust movement there. There's Greg Hosfeld. 80, 90 feet. Still using his putting technique. Right oh, oh, and he hits the basket on hole number 11 from over 100 feet. Rick Rostein in the background. Witnessing Otto Spires going right at the pin. A little too rambunctious. Sam Ferens would really like to take this birdie home here. He's putting from about 32 feet. It's only one stroke out of the lead at this point, Craze. 
Sammy's played in some of the most incredible pressure points in the game. Oh, and he drills it. There is a true champion, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Ferens with a birdie two on, strokes under par. on hole 11. Here's John Heaton for birdie. Oh, and he sneaks it in. The mouse makes it in. The girls in the refrigerator and the butter's hard. John Heaton with a great display of putting there. A little bit lucky, but that counts. John Heaton, a favorite here at Swill Park Golf Course. And that putt moved him to 10 strokes under par. Otto Spires shooting a comeback pop. Oh, oh, what a break for That's Otto Spires. To bogey. That's going to hurt his lead quite a bit. Here's John Heaton teeing off on hole number 12, 407 feet, and boy, it is a doozy. A little bit of a valley here to deal with, but here's Sam. He's got the power to reach this Listen hole. to that snap. I'm picking that up on our audio track now. He has an incredible snap. Look at that. Practically to the pin. That's a great display. Of he accuracy. must be 380 feet down range, wouldn't you say? There must be about a 40-foot comeback. That's right. Greg Hosfeld has held a little bit too much hyzer here. Unless he can flip it over before the valley is ended in front of him, he's going to have a tough break. Hard to see where that one ended up. I think I he's past he's the tree on the left. Just short. That's right. Otto, wanting to roll, did not turn over quite enough. Oh, and he's, he gets an incredible flip on that stingray. That's a stingray made by end of a champion disc. Unbelievable. He's shooting through a gap there from about 48 feet. Here's John Heaton for birdie. On hole 12. Oh, he went the direct route, but not quite accurate enough. He Greg Hosfeld needing a birdie here to hold on to some some sort of lead. Yeah. Oh, and he drills it from 110 feet. Greg Hosfeld with a birdie Unbelievable. on hole 12. 407 feet and two shots in the basket. Incredible. Here's Otto Spires for birdie. Oh, and he's a little too high. He's got about a 15-footer comeback for par. Sammy for birdie on hole 12. Oh, it weaved around and in and out and through and all through the metal and did not go in the basket. Osfeld already has John five birdies Heaton. after 12 holes. Oh, that's incredible. He's five tearing birdies this course on apart. Swill Park is the record five under for 18 holes on this beautiful par 54 tournament course. Fortunately, Greg had that bogey on hole four, so he's only made up four strokes, but that puts him at 12 under par. For the round. Well, Greg has a bit of a mistake here on the tee on 13. He's he teed right and turned it over right. early. He's got a lot of timber on that shot. John Eton, who had consecutive birdies on 10 and 11, has now gone to 10 strokes under par. The sun just setting over the hills here in Swope Park. Oh, there's a great power shot right up the middle. Looks like he may have gotten it just a bit left. That's a very tight fairway. And he's ended up just left. Still a good shot, though. Sam Ferens. Oh, listen to that snap. Oops, he did. Well. He caught that tree at about 240 feet. It's in the center of the fairway, though. However, he got there, and that's the place to be. You know, the pin placement on this hole is a beautiful one. One of the prettier holes I've seen in America. Otto Spires teeing off on 13. He's a little too high. That Caught the timber. He over. kicked way off. At least he stayed inbound. Just short of an out-of-bounds shot, which would have cost him a stroke in addition to the normal hole score. He's going around the trees. Over the street and back in. That's what a choice of shots. Didn't see it land. Oh, and but he's still short there. Oh, Just about, about 22 feet from the pin, though. What an incredible display of choice shots. Here's Greg Hosfeld for birdie. Right at the pin. Mm. Good shot, but he'll have to take a far. Sam Ferens. Currently in second place by a stroke behind Hospital. Well, he's put it right there for a safe par. Par is a good score on this particular Here's hole. Here's Heaton really wanting to stay tight on this hole. Okay. All our players are in, and here's Otto Spires for par. Oh, and he drills it. Nice save. Greg Hosfeld for par. John Heaton for par, and Sammy Ferens all parring hole number 13. Here we are teeing off on 14. The media love this hole. 375 feet downhill. Now, in an interview earlier this weekend, Sam Ferens almost aced the hole in front of the cameras. John Heaton is taking a big, high, wide route right at the pin. And look at that shot, about a 14-footer for birdie. Sam Ferens. 
He loves hyzer routes. Yeah. There it is. It's really, it's turning in. Oh, there's a couple trees down there that could play on his putt, but otherwise he's looking at the 30-footer for birdie. Otto Spires, one of his favorite holes, this hole 14, 375 feet, par three. And of course, director here. Oh, there's a flip, there's a flip drive there. It's turning over a little too early, and he's caught some timber and will be shooting from about 150 feet. Our course tournament director and course designer Tom Engel has done just an incredible job of carving this R54 course out of the beautiful hillsides here at Swope Park. Without a doubt, America's finest and most beautiful Frisbee golf course. Oh. Otto Spires going for a birdie there. No, that was for a par save after he, his approach. From he did not feet. make par, so that is going to birdie there. Sam Ferentz with a blatantly missed shot there going for birdie. Here's Greg Hosfeld, and he will take a birdie on this hole 14, 375 feet. Greg Hosfeld is going to improve his lead tremendously. Here's John Heaton for birdie. Oh boy, those end of a champion discs really displaying quite a show out here this weekend. Sam Farron showing us some emotion here in the final set. Of course, he spent more time in the finals than most players do in the early rounds of most tournaments. A great golfer. There's Otto Spires taking the ball. Gosh, that disc almost popped right out of the basket. Here's Greg Hosfeld, hole 15. Greg is now 13 strokes under par, and he's our leader by two. There's a beautiful shot. Oh, and it's going right towards the pin. Look at this shot right over the top of the pin. 375 feet. Burns and Eton are both 11 strokes under par, tied for second, and Otto, with another bogey, has faded. Otto Spires getting a great run here in the early portion of the finals, but I'm afraid the other players have taken over and are going for the throat. Here's John Eton. He's gone a little bit high. Hope it doesn't clip, but it does, and he's going to be short and hits both trees. He'll have a 120-foot up shot for birdie. That gap looks big, but Here's it's hard Sam to hit. Ferens. Oh, this course plays so beautifully. Absolutely. Couldn't be a nicer day for golf. There's a beautiful shot. He's going to have an interesting putt through the trees there. That's a little difficult. There's some very thin branches. Here's Otto Spires on his drive, full 15. A little bit left and hitting a tree. Oh, he got an interesting, a lucky ducky tooth fairy roll towards the pin. Here's John Heaton with an interesting upshot. He'll have to hold tight with a birdie or a par here to remain in, in contention. Thank you, Blair. Greg Hosfeld anxiously awaiting to hold out on this hole 15. There's Heaton's run. Oh, it's a little bit short and low. Sam Farron's having to put through the cobweb of branches here. Oh, and he's caught a branch about eight feet off the ground, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit short. But he'll have to settle for par if he can nail this putt. He will hold it par. He needs this badly. And he does with ease. He'll move on to hole 16. That's two birdie opportunities in a row that Sam lets slip away. Greg Hosfield. Putting out now. And a good shot by Greg. Back Four birdie on hole 15. There's John Heaton. Pulling out for par and Otto Spires for par. Greg Hosfeld is now six strokes under par on the day. It's seven birdies. Here's his drive on hole 16. Oh, and he's gone a little bit wide. There's a beautiful disc he's using there, the Whammo 91 mold, one of the more famous distance discs used in competition. Yeah, Whammo, one all. of the original supporters of the sport of Frisbee, and of course their endless dedication has led us to such greats as the World Frisbee Championships. Whammo Manufacturing, a great source of dedication. Of course, a great group of people dedicated to just that, the advancement of the sport of Frisbee. Here's Otto Spires on hole 16. Oh, he's trying to roll that. I don't know how he gets these rollers out of there, but it has flipped and is going right to the pin. Look at this shot. Look at what this shot. Beauty. 22 feet to the pin. Full 16, almost 370 feet long. Here's John Heaton needing a birdie. He goes the air route. Oh, he caught some timber. 
hoping it can helix, but it doesn't. It fades and holds stable. Down in the valley there, he's looking at a 220-foot up shot for birdie. What a beautiful course here. It's so challenging. Every hole different. Every hole a challenge within itself. Here's Sam Ferens on his air shot on 16, covering a lot of ground, but not quite in birdie range unless he were to hit a long and very long putt. Here's John Heaton on his up shot. Fairway is so sculptured out here at Swope Park Golf Course. The maintenance is incredible all year long. People working on the course, trimming the greens, keeping all the trees in perfect condition. And there's a beautiful up shot right under the pin on hole 16. Greg Hosfeld needing to hold that score. There's that whammo disc again, working miracles. A little bit short, but he's going to putt from par. And Sam Ferrens contemplating his next shot here. There's a putt for birdie. Oh, it's just too short. I don't know what's going on with Sam, but his putts normally bend the metal. Otto Spire's not catching any metal at all. Hospital checking the wind. The Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation here is, without a doubt, one of the more cooperative organizations. Some of their steps have included the dedication of the course here at Swill Park, or its prime use to better the players here in Kansas City as well as nationwide. Mark McHenry, of course, a very special individual at the Parks and Recreation Department in Kansas City, Missouri. And there's Greg, a little bit shaky, but drills the hole for par here on hole 16. John Heaton taking a par also. Hole 17 now. Oh, and there's a direct route. He's going to, if he can hold under that branch, oh, he did. He, he caught the branch. the branch. A very, very common sight here at Swole Park. Absolutely, but with a three-stroke lead, Hosfeld is cruising. Otto, a little bit left of the tree and low on the hill. There's John Heaton with that rock again, a little bit too stable for this shot, but he's pin high and about 28 feet from the pin. Here's Sam Ferrens. Right down There's the gut, it's looking good. Oh boy, sweet shot. Didn't really sweet hold Sweet shot, him. good line, but it did come up a little bit short. All weekend, the statistics here have been operated by Software City. Jeff Johnson doing an incredible job of keeping all the scores up to date, all the players informed in their positions. Tee times, of course. Oh, John Heaton with a beautiful putt. Very Softy nice. but goody. Right into the basket here for a birdie on hole 17. That puts him 400 for the day and 1,200 for the tournament, John. You know, 325 feet covered in two shots is quite an accomplishment. Here's Otto Spires attempting the same feat. Otto Spires, of course, a great fan of uptime. Those of you that know him. Oh, he just came up a little short. Here's Greg Hosfeld for birdie. He's a little high, and he's going to be on the top of the hill putting back for par. Sam, he'd sure like to hit this one. He's had three bird opportunities in a row that slipped away from him. Sam Ferrens putting for birdie on the last 17. Oh, and he didn't catch a bit of metal there. Sam really thinking That's too about bad. what that to do next. That would have moved him into a tie for second place with John Eton and a $500 check for the second place. What a tough final here. Most of the players being from out of town, they've needed to reach home and reach their agents, reach their managers, keep their tour intact. And without a adequate and most proficient phone system, this is not possible. We'd like to thank the folks at Lenexa communications for providing us for all of our cellular and home and phone system needs throughout the weekend here at Swole Park. There's Greg Hosfeld for par on hole 17. John Rach of Lenexa Communications has been a player here for years at Swole Park. Our gallery. Those are interested in the 18th hole here. A most interesting hole recently Eton, he had his nice birdie oh, on 17. Boy, he's caught some he timber. catches the tree. He's going to be a little bit short in the middle of the hill. <laughs> he's currently all by himself in second place. Here's Greg Hosfeld. Our leader at 14 strokes under par on the tournament. Good snap, but it flipped. And oh, he caught a little bit of a tree there. Easy. Anywhere on that right side of the fairway is danger. He's got a pretty good approach angle, though. No real trouble for Greg. Otto Spires, he's fallen into a solo possession of fourth place and ten strokes under par. 
There's a good alley there. Oh, he's picked a nice shot there. Right up by the pit, ladies and gentlemen. A fine shot. Otto Spires in the finals going out with a bang. Otto, a favorite here at Swill Park Golf Course. But he's going to need a little bit more of the game to mature here to win this tournament. Here's Sam Ferens looking for a miracle. Ferens at 11 under. Just barely cleared that center tree there. And he's going to be pin high up by the gallery here. A little bit dust indicator showing you where his shot landed. There's the scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen, as our finalists take the walk towards the gallery. Approaching the 18th pin, here's John Heaton shooting from the center of the fairway. This 372-foot par three, hole 18 at Swole Park Golf Course. Heaton's really came through and, and stayed steady here on the back nine. This is a shot. Oh, another good effort by right John, by but the not, pin. not good enough. Greg Hosfeld with a birdie here would sew it all up. That's a little bit off, but good enough to allow him to remain at par for this hole. Sam Ferens would like to make this shot. We're moving into a tie for second place. And that in there. Oh. Oh. And it looks like John Eaton is going to keep second place to himself. Hosfeld pars out for an incredible 48. A winner by two strokes over John Hutton. Otto catches his eight foot bird putt to tie Sam Ferens for third place. Hutton parring out for his 12 under par. Greg, of course, had the best round at 48. John Eaton threw a 50, four strokes under par. Sam Ferens a 51, three strokes under par. And Otto Spears, starting out at 10 under, was only able to throw a 53 and finished at 11 strokes under par. We're glad you could be with us today at Swope Park Golf Course.
Otto Spires. It's an honor to have you players here at the Swill Park Golf Course. And believe me, the gallery has had an incredible yeah. time right, watching Zane. you play this afternoon. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. Every course has a homeboy. <laughs> at this point, most of you have a name in mind, but please, let us welcome now to the front and center area of the U.S. Open Fall Tournament, our very own, in second place, finishing after four rounds at a very respectable 12 under, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Kansas City's very own, John Heaton! Yeah. We'd all like to thank Crazy John Brooks and Tom Engel for putting on this fantastic event.
Copyright 1998, Blair S. Paulson Productions. The U.S. Open Golf Tournament takes place in a couple of weeks, but this weekend here in Kansas City, it's the U.S. Open Fall Tournament. That's right, Fall or Frisbee Golf. Fall pros from California to New York are descending on the Swope Park Fall Course for this tournament. This is Fall, specifically the 14th hole of Swope Park, and check out this shot from 370 feet away. This tee shot hits the stick. Now, anybody who's ever thrown a disc knows how spectacular this shot is. These three fall pros all want the $1,000 top prize here this weekend. And actually, if you're good, a fall pro can make pretty good money. Well, you know, it's not like our friends, the ball golfers. You know, it's not really that big yet. But we're, we're doing probably, if we have a good four-month season, 20000 This fall for Crazy John Brooks is the most famous disc thrower in the United States. Brooks grew up in Kansas City. And now his full-time job involves throwing the disc. The Bud Light Frisbee team, which is the team that I operate during the course of the year, uh, has been the World Freestyle Champions in 85, 86, and recently in 87. My job essentially for Anheuser-Busch is to coordinate the tour. We have a world tour that we operate through um, most of the states, and it's about uh, 120 to 130,000 miles a year. Not long ago, Brooks was even written up in a feature article in Sports Illustrated. That was the first year that I won the overall World Flying Disc Championships, uh, which is a combination of your scores in all the events. And uh, I won fall at that tournament. As a matter of fact, helped me take the win. That's what I need, a job where I can make all the money I need throwing a Frisbee. Could you see that on your resume? Job. <laughs> fall <pro>. yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks, Gordon. Up next, if it works on your back, it might work on your head. You'll find out how California... Jefferson City and St. Louis. Oh, oh, oh. What in the world is fall? Fall, if you look at the letter F, is golf played with a frisbee, like this one, okay? And okay. there's a great frisbee golf course, and we'll call it that instead of fall to give you what a, an idea about it, out here at Swole Park. It opened here in 1981. It's a fabulous course, and they are playing the U.S. Open Fall Tournament out here right now, again this year. With me is John Brooks, who's the defending champion of this tournament. John, uh, How'd this whole thing start? How'd you get involved in it? Well, Kansas City is actually the home and one of the early homes of the sport of Frisbee. Fall is exclusively from Kansas City. Uh, this weekend, we've got some of the world's best players, including the Masters World Champion, Snapper Pearson. Uh, the uh, American and the national champion, Sam Ferens is here. The game itself started by a variance on golf uh, for Frisbee players. Now, we're going to take a look at some, uh, some of the guys in action here while you and I are talking. Uh, the game is also being played internationally. You just came back from a tournament in Japan. That's right, Tachikawa City. It's still going to stay in my mind as uh, one of the most radical tournaments I've been. The first million in Frisbee is what I took home. A million dollars? Well, no, <laughs> it's about uh, 7,000. <laughs> a million yen, right, okay. But, but the game is basically the same. The, the holes are laid out. They go, what, anywhere from about 290 feet to how long? Well, the, the average hole here at Swope Park Golf Course is 370 feet. Uh, our maximum, our longest hole here is 484 feet. Now we're getting a look at some of the Frisbees here, and we've also got some in our hands, and I want to show them to the folks here now, because just like you change clubs in real golf depending on the distance of your shot, you change uh, Frisbees depending on your shot, right? That's right. Uh, Show me what we got here quickly. Well, the wind will play a big, uh, a big uh, factor in your game. The lighter discs, something like the Whammo 91 mold, is used for a distance shot. Mm -hmm. This disc here, made by Innova Champions, called the Phoenix. It's the newest thing on the market. It's traveling distance from 600 to 1,000 feet. And this one? The AVR that you have, Don, is used for putting mostly. It's an accurate disc. It has a very low variance, so it's very accurate. These are all made by Innova Champion. They're great. They're really... All of this is going on at Swole Park, folks. I hope you can get out here this weekend because the play goes on through Sunday. Sunday are the finals, and to add to the festivities, they're going to even have some music, a little concert out here before they start playing. So if you've never seen Fall, this is your chance. It's fantastic. Brands Mart Stereo has done an incredible job. Tom Engel is here. This is the ultimate of Frisbee Golf Fall. <laughs> the U.S. Open Fall Tournament right here in River City. By the way, Fred Broski, I came out to check the weather. It's not raining out here, but it sure looks like it wants to. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Come on out, Don, I want to ask you, have you ever played this game yourself? Have I, you tried it? I tried this game two years ago, and I've never yet been able to learn how to throw a Frisbee, although I'd be glad to sling one here for you if you want. Yeah, try it. Okay, right. I'll just, uh, just kind of pull out wide here, John, our cameraman, John Tigert. I'll see how far I can throw it. I don't want to disturb the course, you know. I don't want to throw it too far. Well, not very good, but that's the best I could do. 
<laughs> that looked like a slice to me. It was a slice, to say the least. It's a lot of fun. It's really, it really is. And the little metal baskets that you shoot into uh, are really are interesting, the way these guys can just sneak them in there. It's I bet it's a lot more difficult than people would think. It's a lot more difficult than it looks, you bet. Okay, thanks, Don. Okay.